Hello and welcome back to another installment to PokeFodder where I discuss AR and geolocation mobile games. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you an exclusive sneak peek into the week ahead, which is Jurassic World Alive's third anniversary. Before I get into the nitty gritty details of what is ahead next week in Jurassic World Live, I am legally obligated to let you know that Ludia provided the most recent information to me available at the time. They are not final and subject to change if necessary. Now that that is out of the way, let's discuss the greatness that is going to be happening from May 24th until May 30th. Breaking down the week ahead on Monday and Tuesday, you're going to have 18 attempts at two different common creatures. And as far as commons go, I, I guess these are okay. You do have the sloth and then one of the newer raptors. I think it's like Dinon Nychus, I think is how you say that one. I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing this one's name. But those 18 attempts, commons, you know, I, personally, I wouldn't go out of my way to dart any of those and just use Monday and Tuesday to rest up because the rest of the week is going to be absolutely phenomenal. As we start to make our way through the week on Wednesday and Thursday, you have Gorgonops, you have Overraptor, you have Andrew Sarkis, and then you have Compsognathius Gen 2. Now, as far as all these go, you know, the first two, the Gorgonops and the Oviraptor are short proximity spawns, but they're kind of everywhere. Sar Andrew is going to be found in local two. I'm almost positive that it is local two. And then uh, Compi Gen 2 is going to be found in local four. So there's nothing really exclusive here, but you know, they're all really good. Personally for me, I think Compi Gen 2, just because it is the newest creature, out of the four, Andrew is absolutely amazing. And then the other two make up really nice hybrids as well. So you do have, you know, you do have options here and you will have 24 different attempts at those options. So you can feel free to spread them out, just do whatever is around you. You only have two days. So you might be forced just to kind of take whatever you can get. And then on Friday, you have 12 attempts, but you have one day, one day only to do your 12 attempts. You're going to have Dodo, no more trying to find it in the park. 12 attempts at Dodo, you know where I'm going. But if Dodo's not your thing, you have Pelta, which is currently the uh, hybrid pursuit creature of this week. You'll have another chance next week on Friday. You will have Dakota Raptor, which is a local two. And then you have Acrocanthosaurus, which is going to be a local three or four as well. Obviously, Dodo is the park spawn. If you want to follow the always dart the exclusive, then Pelta is going to be your option as far as that goes. Then on Saturday, you're going to have three different legendary creatures with which to choose one attempt. Pukadi, <laughs> Pukaidai, I think is how you say that one. And then you have the legendary sloth, the Era Moseros, and then Dodo Sevia, which is a hybrid of the Dodo. Again, that is where I'm going. I wouldn't fault you if you did not choose to follow in my footsteps. Then on Sunday, we have Unique's back in Telolania or Compsocalus, which is the newest of the Uniques. This is an absolutely phenomenal week as far as which creatures you're going to have options of darting. And then add into that, there's going to be scent capsules that are gonna have these creatures, probably not the unique, most likely not the legendary, but the epics, the rares, and the commons. I'm all for it. I think this is going to be an absolutely phenomenal week. And typically I don't really touch on what is going on as far as the strike towers, but this week, this week I'm gonna make an exception. On Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, you're going to have the epic towers, nothing new, nothing special there. On Wednesday, as has been customary lately, we're going to get a themed rare strike tower, and that is going to be Compi Gen 2. And for Friday, our themed tower is the new fan favorite, Everybody wants to see this one, Bumpy. As long as you defeat this strike tower, I believe everybody gets the same 200, although that might be scaled based on your level. But if you are level 20, you will get 200 DNA, which is going to be able to unlock the new epic creature. And just when you thought the week couldn't get any better on Friday the 28th, we have our first ever Friday raid boss. And that is going to be the newest apex creature, Refernatum. This thing is a Dilophosaur and just look at this wow it is impressive in fact this might be my new 
absolute favorite looking creature. I'm, I have no idea about the moves. I don't know anything about it. But if I'm just going on looks alone, sign me up for this thing. It looks, whoever did the artwork on this. <laughs> like you deserve a standing ovation. This thing is, the bar is set really high now for all future hybrids because this thing, oh my goodness. I'm pretty hyped. This is a, a cunning creature. And if I remember after reading all the moves, it is a distraction beast. And you know, as soon as this thing goes live, I will be putting together a raid strat for everybody. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you will be one of the first to know how to take this bad Mamba Jamba out. If you're hype about next week, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And that's all I've got for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time.